to solve an inequality, you I pretty much want you to think of this as the same as a normal trinomial, like if you had x squared minus 7x minus 8, and you can pretend that that was an equal sign. And so if that was the case, you would have factorized over here as x minus 8 and x plus 1. Now a huge mistake, or the biggest area where students make mistakes now, and if you've done this it's okay, just remember that this is wrong. You don't want to do this now. You're not going to say x minus 8 is smaller than 0 or x plus 1 is smaller than 0. That is not correct. I think I used to do the same back when I was in high school, so I do understand that that's tempting, but that's not the way it works. What you want to do instead with inequalities is you want to now open up a little number line for yourself. Okay, now what would the answers be here? It would be, uh, if this was, for example, if this was an equal sign, what would your answers be? Would you agree with me that your answers would be 8 and negative 1? Right, now what you do is you come back up to this parabola that you have here, and you ask yourself, you should know that that is a parabola, right? From You can remember that from last year, whenever you have a, a graph or a function where you've got an x squared, it's a parabola. Now a parabola can be happy, see it's a smiling face over here, or it can be sad. Okay, so that's a sad face. So when the number in front of the x squared is a positive, which in this case is just a positive 1, then it's happy. Why? Positive means happy, negative means sad. Positive happy, negative sad. So we draw a little smiley face going through the two numbers that we just looked at, like that. And then we ask ourselves, or we have a look here, it says, where is this parabola smaller than zero? So it's saying, where is this parabola uh, negative? Now what that means for a graph is, when they say, where is the graph negative? It means underneath. So that means it's underneath over here. And so your answer is going to be from minus 1 up to 8. It's going to be inside that interval over here. So mathematically, you would have to say that x can be any number that is between minus 1 and less than 8. If you prefer interval notation, you would say that x is an element going from minus 1 up to 8.